Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is Trista Rico. What I wanted to do was take a time to start a series I want to do is interview a few people and get sneaker stories from them. What I wanted to do is start with my own sneaker story. What that means is I'm going to take three or four pairs of shoes up here, give you guys 30 to a minute stories that are crazy as hell about these. Decode or edit up and put the photos on the screen of the stories about them because I was wearing them in those photos. Crazy thing about these. These was one of my first social media posts ever. The thing that I want to call to show you in this video that's going to be on the screen right now is my cousin is on the floor with the digital camera faced all the way up taking a picture of me with these on. These came out in 2006 during the summertime before the days of digital cameras being on phones. What that means is some phones had cameras, but they were terrible, shitty. My cousin took a picture of me with a digital camera. I uploaded the picture to the computer and uploaded it to a website by the name of PAX. If you remember those PAX days, comment below. Those PAX days were early days. I have on US Polo Association shorts because I thought that was polo back then. And I have on a brown button up shirt. Legendary fit is on the screen now. You see how old it is. It is from my Facebook account and my PAX days. Legendary days. Another shoe that I wanted to tell a story about was these World Cups. This is the World Cup Korea edition. Uh, Korea edition. This shoe is prevalent because my guy, Will Sanders, who right now is real big in the music industry, Will Sanders went to Chicago and picked me up these pairs. What that means is me and my guy, Kwesi, wanted these in college. They only came out in Chicago and very few Nike towns. We went to school in Nashville. We gave Will our money. He drove to Chicago, waited in line overnight, and came back with these shoes for no extra price. And he did that for us several times. The days before you pay resale. Back in the days when your guy just hooked you up with a pair because he knew how much you wanted and loved them. All these pairs I bought today, so this is not the pair from that time, because back then I had to buy my shoes, wear them a couple times, and sell them. But with the picture that's going to be on the screen now, it's me sitting on the stoop. Um, I would say these came out in 2006 summer also. Crazy that I got a whole outfit on with these shoes and I got them again in my hand. Second story. The third story, which I think is very, very, very prevalent in my life, is this shoe right here. It's the white and gold Air Force One Low. I had this when I first started college. In the picture, I have on a tan LRG shirt. This is the truth about these sneaker stories. I'm telling the truth with these stories. I want everybody to come on that has a story and tell the truth. The shirt in that picture I stole. Now that's not me condoning that. That's just showing you that I spent my last hundred to buy the shoes, get gas. I went to the store and saw the shirt and risked my freedom for the shirt. What I did was after I stole the shirt, I felt bad as fuck. So when I got some money the next two weeks, when I got my check, I went back and cashed out on a whole other LRG fit and overspent because I felt bad. But I had to have these shoes so bad, I cashed my check, took the bus because I didn't have any gas in my car. Cashed my check, took the bus, bought the shoes, went home, gassed up my car, and called it a weekend after stealing the shirt. Another sneaker story that just shows you how serious I was about sneakers when these Air Force Ones came out. The last but definitely not least which is a very humbling story, which I think another good thing about this um, YouTube and me making YouTube, because I can be honest with you guys, is this is the Halloween edition Air Force One. It's the split down the middle. It's crazy, just like these scar faces here. But these two shoes, I think, are very prevalent because in college, my guy, Quasi had these kicks. When I say he had them, I mean he had 90% of the ones that were up here. But the important thing about me in college was my mom was paying me to go to school. I was in college working pay rent, pay bills, live life. I did not own these. The cool thing about having friends in college is my guy Kwesi would literally beat these to shit and then let me wear them. So I literally would get these from him, beat the shit, spend a full day cleaning them and stretching them out and still rocking them on campus and to parties. That's why I say sometimes in the sneaker game, as you see half my stories are about, it's about the friends that you make when you out here getting these shoes. So these shoes are all going to my personal collection. It's a 13 pack. Um, we got the West Indies right here, bow pairs, which is a shoe I never had, which I don't have a story about, but I think it's dope. But I think um, 
That's why I think these sneaker stories will be a dope little segment to start because people got stories about shoes that you'll never know about. Like to know that I definitely kept, caught the bus, had a car out of gas, and still stole a shirt just to have these shoes, and still posted a picture with me holding them in my hand. In the photo that you see from this video, it's crazy. So if you guys got any sneaker stories in here in the Wisconsin area, comment below your email. I'll pick two or three of you guys. Have you guys come down, bring the shoes with you, or if we have them in the store, let you tell your story. But I do want you to have the shoes, or we have them, because it's a very good piece to hold in your hand. But um, comment your email below. Like, subscribe, or like this stuff. Comment what you think we should improve, any other different segments we should put on there. But definitely, definitely, definitely comment your email below. I'll pick two or three people. we uh, get a sneaker story from you guys. Maybe get some pictures like we have of mine, of you guys having them back in the day. But I definitely want to thank you guys for tuning in. This is Tristan Rico letting you guys know. Signing up.